Hi there, my name is Frances and I'm going to be the module leader for Land Law this year. It's a very challenging year obviously for all of us, but I'm here to make it as easy as possible for you as I can and also to act as your point of reference during the module. So you can email me, um, I'm going to be on campus in Cambridge on a Wednesday and in Chelmsford on a Friday and I'll be fully available um, those two days via email as well. So those are my two working days, I'm a part time lecturer um, but I wrote the module a long time ago, I know landlord inside out so you're in safe hands with me, I'm here to support you. Um, so land law is a, a fantastic thing, I'm absolutely bonkers about it, it's the thing that makes me tick. Um, it's so important as an area of law because you may or may not be a victim of crime, you may or may not need to use contract law at any stage, um, you may or may not have something tortious happen to you, but land affects and impacts all of us, so we're all constantly having a relationship with land. Wherever you are now, you are there in some capacity um, having a relationship with land and the landowner if you're not the landowner yourself. Um, so those relationships really matter. Your ability to stay on that land for a certain time period, whether it's for today or for the hour that you're in that building, um, whether it's because you are a tenant there and you have a hold over it for six months or a year, whether you're at your parents' house, whether you own your own home, whatever your relationship is to that property is going to be specific and unique to you and to the parties that you're involved with. So that's where landlord steps in really to help navigate those relationships and um, help understand what it means to affix and attach to the land. If somebody wants you to leave, what are your rights? Or if you want somebody to leave, what are your rights? Uh, so for me, it's it's integral to every part of our day. It's where we lay our head at night. It's how we make money if we're business owners. Um, it's a very important thing that we understand our connection to property and land. So that's what the module effectively is seeking to do, seeking to help you understand where there may be a dispute between parties, where land is, is the key asset or the key um, binder between those two parties and how to look at land law, which is very systemized. It's got a formula. It's very regulated. Um, there's a lot of legislation. You'll be able to use a statute book. So in that system, we can navigate the rules and evidence quite cl cre clearly and quickly who has what. And then equity can also step in. So where the law is firm, fast and true and states what the rules are, sometimes those rules would bring out an unfair result and equity can step in to remedy that. So that's the place of the role of equity as an arbiter for fairness and kindness and what's right to um, allow for some flex within those systems. Um, my example of that always is where we see parties living together, so um, where one party loves the other party and they move in together. Some of that stuff legally won't be bound, we won't have an evidence, we might not appear at land registry, there may not be a binding document as to how those parties hold property together. So legally, in certain situations, that can be very tricksy and difficult. And as land lawyers, we may struggle with finding a format or a formula for that to be able to advise those parties. And we may need to then lean on equity to step in and resolve that issue. So that's the beauty and the interplay, really, of law and equity within land law. And it may confuse at times, but again, it's my job to help navigate those waters. So, uh, in terms of our teaching, I know that the teaching is a little bit more unusual this year. Um, we will have some face-to-face -face sessions at Cambridge, some face-to-face -face sessions at Chelmsford if you choose to 
otherwise we'll be holding online seminars together um, and your lectures will be pre-recorded so you will have two pre-recorded lectures uploaded onto Canvas in advance of any work that you're expected to prepare uh, and attend class for. So for example next week's an introductory week um, you will have lectures available online but it's not expected that you prepare or present any work for class for next week. So the seminars that are scheduled are there as an introductory session with me so that we can get to know each other and that with this new system in place we can navigate it together and orientate ourselves. So please do attend any timetabled sessions that you may have. As I say next week there's no expectation that you will have done work but there will be lectures available for the week that follows. So the we, the lectures that are loading up onto week one uh, will be there for you to prepare for seminars for week two. So there are some um, slides available right now. There are slides that were in existence previously um, before we move to the model that we're currently moving to. So the pre-recorded lectures are going to be uploaded at the start of the week um, and my understanding then is that those pre-recorded lectures will act as your um, information to help you with your studies and to prepare you for the seminars that will follow in the week after. In addition to that we'll also you will see that there are some um, Canvas practice sessions and some discussion fora that I'll be using. So those are activities that anyone's free to do at any stage and also obviously they're there to support students who are primarily working from home or online. Um, so the online seminars will be um, attended again with me and then any support will take place online through the discussion fora. So please get in, as involved as you want to on those fora. I've started a discussion point on there now so that we can see how it works and get to grips with it. So from Monday next week, please feel free. Uh, that's the 21st week one. So please feel free to start work on that. And then assessment. Obviously we're in a time of flux. Um, what previously might have worked in terms of getting you into an exam hall and or asking you to present in front of us might not work and might not be fit for purpose. So we are in discussions as a law school as to how that can be implemented. So please do bear with us as soon as I know any more information. I will tell you exactly how the assessment will be formatted and conducted but at the moment we don't have that information available to you so I'm sorry about that. Um, we can work on the basis that there will be some form of exam style assessment whether that's a, a take home um, exam that you have released to you that you do within 24 hours, 48 hours, something like that or um, a piece of coursework we're unsure but there will be an assessment element uh, like that and then there will obviously be some sort of presentation element which might involve a piece to camera like this or some form of uh, voiced over powerpoint uh, again I'm unsure as to the exact logistics of that but as soon as I do I will let you know so just to let you know that I'm really looking forward to meeting you all, uh, either face-to-face uh, -face or virtually, and getting to know you all as a cohort. I've heard really good things about you, and uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you. So welcome to Land Law, and um, please do get in touch if you ever um, need to. So my email ad address is francis.king1 at aru.ac.uk. You should be able to contact me through Canvas at any stage. Thank you very much. Good luck with your studies.